G'day, I'm Dan from Bike Biz, and in this little special box is the Magna Neutron Heated Glove. Magna have been making gloves since 1991, uh, so they've been at this for quite some time now. They obviously now make some other gear that you can check out in some of our other videos, but their grassroots are making gloves. So they've kept up with their evolution of, of the glove, they've keep researching into a better product and some cool features that you're gonna enjoy when you're riding your bike. This is a waterproof glove and even with, without the heating element, it's quite a warm glove to have on. The Neutron glove is something rather unique where it's actually got heating elements throughout it. Now this would mainly fit your guy who's commuting in the winter, rain, hail or shine. Uh, if he's doing some touring, rain, hail or shine. Um, if you're a guy that feels the cold out there on your bike, a heated glove is obviously an answer. There's a lot of bikes out there that have heated grips on them. Now the cool thing with the Neutron glove is that once you've finished your, your, your ride, you've reached your destination, and it's damn cold in the snowy mountains, you can't have your heated grips again. This way you can actually take your heated hands with you, stick them in your pocket, and you can have your heated hands all day long. Really cool. All right, so let's get them out of the box and let's have a real good look at the Magna Neutron glove. Now, one of the really cool things that they've done straight away is we've got laminated technology in here. So we've got the waterproofing, but the glove is actually not gonna get wet. So the back of the waterproof lining is laminated to the outer part of the glove, and I can show you a cool video about that in a moment. But this glove is just gonna bead the water off. So you're not gonna put on a heavier glove if you're stuck in the rain. It's gonna remain as light as they are from the get-go. We've got a carbon knuckle in here. We've got some reinforcement through the fingers. So we've got some protection that you'd expect from a glove that you're gonna have all day in. You potentially might hit the deck, so they've got you covered with that protection. Reinforcement panels down the outside of the hand here. There's some also some extra padding there, again, for some extra protection. Turning the glove over, we've got a full grain leather palm. Now, the fingertips on these, on the index fingers, are actually a touch sensitive fingertip. So if you're operating a mobile phone or a GPS, on or off the bike. Um, you can do it wearing the gloves, which is a very cool thing. And the other thing that I actually like about these, they've actually got a, a stretch panel in the thumb. So they've engineered these so that when you're riding the bike or when you're even moving around, uh, you're, you're not restricted by the movement of your thumbs, which obviously that's what you use to grab stuff with. So that's very cool from Macna. The other thing that I also really like, and this is apparent when you try on a glove that doesn't have this, they've got a 30 degree closure. Now. Probably a bit easier to show you while the glove's on. Instead of straight across the bottom of the hand here, it's actually coming across the base of your hand, which hugs in around the way that your hand is actually shaped. Now, that's actually very secure on my hand. I can't even pull out of that, uh, but it is a very simple but very cool thing that Machner have done with how they're securing that glove to you. You can see that tab there is actually angled across my hand rather than straight around the glove. So that gives you that 30 degree closure around, the, around your hand and how it's naturally shaped. The other really cool thing about that strap, it's your new style Velcro. So that's not gonna catch on anything. I'm trying to look for something that I might stick to. It's not gonna catch on anything. It's not gonna stick to any of your other fabrics that you're wearing. That Velcro is also on the final closure around the, uh, the wrist as well. All right, so these are a gauntlet style glove. Now the gauntlet meaning that it's coming further up your arm. Now that's gonna, in a touring scenario, mean that you can put this over the top of your jacket. It's gonna secure and seal that over, around your jacket. Now, do be careful if you're out there riding in the rain wearing a waterproof glove, that if you do put this over the top of your jacket, that water is likely to run down the sleeve of your jacket and into your glove, making this non-waterproof. So if you do expect to catch some rain when you're out there on the bike, open it up, fold that in, and try and tuck that on the inside of your jacket so the jacket's over the top. That way the water can just roll straight off. That's just gonna stop the wind coming up the sleeve of your jacket if you are riding in a colder climate. Let me just take the glove off. I just wanna point out a few more features in the glove and then I'll get down to the the heating element that's in here, which is obviously something that is super cool. So we've got some windscreen wipers there on both index fingers, which is kind of cool. If you've got cruise control, you can wipe away with both, both fingers. That's a really cool feature that Magna have done as well. We've got some reinforced stitching through the palm. We've got some leather paneling through the back of the, back of the hand here. 
some fluoro highlights, just give it a little bit of style and get it seen out there a little bit more. So we've got a re really high-end safe glove that's got the features of being a top-end waterproof winter glove. Now, the, all, the thing that you're, you're here to watch, this is a heated glove. So what we've got in here is heating elements all over the back of the hand. Now there are some down through the thumb as well. What's included in here is this little Velcro pocket. And inside is a battery pack. Now that battery pack is rechargeable. They actually give you the charger in the box as well. But that's what you end up with. So there is this lead that's always attached on the inside of the glove. That's connected to the heating elements on the inside here. You plug that in and it just tucks away, tucks away nicely on the underside of your hand. So it's not on top, which may interfere with any of your, your movement. Just pop that on so I can show you how we turn her on. So there's our battery pack sitting in there. It's a fairly tight pocket, so that's not gonna move around or shake about. You're not really gonna feel that in there. And on the back of the glove here, we've got a big button. You can see it there, it's an on off logo button. Hold that down and we're on. Now there are three different heat settings in here. Now what we recommend is that when you first put the glove on, you first go for a ride, put it onto the red one. The first setting is your hot setting. Once the glove's warmed up a little bit, you'll find that it's gonna get really, really, really hot in there. So you can back that down with the yellow settings, just the push of one button, and then finally you've got a green setting which will just maintain a low level of heat. So three different heat settings, the red one's the hottest, the green one's the coldest, the yellow one in the middle. Now while I've got that on, I can actually feel my fingers are getting very warm. So I can feel that running all the way down through here, I can feel that running through here, and it's actually a very, very toasty glove. Now I've only got it on the cooler setting, but it's working very, very well. Now as I also said, if you're out riding somewhere and you're in, in, in a cold condition, you get off the bike, I'm taking my heated hands with me. You know, leave your heated grips on the bike, but you can take that with you, and it's a really, really cool feature. Now, most winter gloves are quite bulky. This one I've got some good movement in. I, I, I can move around, it doesn't feel too restrictive. Good dexterity of my hands, so I can find those levers, buttons, and switches on the bike without any restriction. Well, you really can tell the difference when you've turned the heating element on in this glove and left it off in this glove, just what a difference it makes in, in, in the warmth. I can feel the gloves actually, the elements of the glove are heating up, so it's becoming softer, it's becoming easier to, to move around and work with. Still good movement out of both, but that one, wow, the heating glove, it just works. The element just works really, really well. It's not on the, the back side of the hand, but it doesn't need to be, because that's obviously tucked away, and when I'm on the, the bike and I'm riding, this is the main part that's gonna get cold, and that's the main part that I can feel heating up now. I'm gonna take them off, and let's just check out the inside of the glove as well. Let's just shut down that, um, that heating element. So to turn it off, you've just gotta hold the button down until all the lights are gone. Now on the inside of the glove, we've got a very soft, I wouldn't say thick, but very, very soft lining there. Now that's stitched in quite well, so when you pull the glove off, you don't pull the fingers out with it, that's all staying inside the glove, which is a gripe I've got with some winter gloves. There's nothing worse when you get to your destination and you pull your glove off and all the fingers come with it and you've got to spend the rest of the day trying to push your fingers back in when they're supposed to be. They're stitched in here so you're not going to go through that drama. When you purchase these gloves, they do come with a little bit of charge in the batteries. Macna recommend that you charge them up for at least six hours before you take them out for their first run. Now when you've got the glove on the red or the hottest setting, that battery should last you two hours. If you back that down to the middle or the yellow setting, that should last for three hours. And then if you use it on the lower setting, you've got four hours of constant use with a heated glove. The Magna Neutron heated glove is available from extra small all the way up to 4XL. So they're covering pretty much everybody, doing a big size and a small size. And they are available in that one color that you see, which is they call black. So if you are out there looking for your next winter glove, you've got some, some big touring rides planned, you're gonna go through the snowies, you're gonna do some, some all weather riding, this is something that you need to probably look at. The fact that it's got the heating element in here is really cool, it means you can take your heated hands with you off the bike when you finish riding. You've got your three heat settings, so that no matter what the day is, how cold or how hot it is, you can have your glove that's gonna keep you comfortable. And remember that you don't have to have the heating element on, they are a good winter glove without the heating elements through them. 
All right, so we're just gonna go back through and point out some of those features again on the Magnet Neutron heated glove. So we've got a leather construction over the palm and the back of the hand, the laminated waterproofing, which means it's gonna bead that water off you. It's not gonna suck any of that water through. Your carbon knuckle protectors, you're padding down the, down the sides of the, the hands there. So we've got lots of protection. We've got your windscreen wiper index fingers. We've got your 30 degree closure, making it nice and secure and comfortable around your hand. Your stretch paneling on the, the thumb, which gives you that freedom to move around and all that sort of movement that you're gonna need. Your touch screen tips on the ends of the fingers here, that's gonna allow you to use your GPS or your phone without having to take the gloves off. And then of course, finally, the heating element throughout, which is easily operated with the push of the buttons. Again, red setting the hottest, yellow setting, mid setting, green, the cooler of the three, but still nice and warm. With up to four hours of constant heat on your hands while you're out there on the bike. They come with the cool Magna case, so you can't lose your gloves. They also come with the charger as well, which is capable of charging both batteries at the same time. All in all, cool unit that you should be looking at if you feel the cold or if you just want a high-end winter glove. They really are worth looking at. That heating element, again, is just something that I really like. Now, you can find these at our bike beer stores. If you want to come down, check out the glove, put it on, see how they feel. You can get them in store. You can also find them online at bikebeers.com.au. Make sure you head over to our YouTube channel, subscribe, watch some of the other videos that we've done. As always, I'm Dan at Bike Beers, and thanks for watching.